Hello students, welcome to the next video on stability studies. In this video, we are going to study in detail about interaction with containers and closures. So, we have already studied in the subject packaging in detail regarding containers and closures and the various packaging material. So, a container is nothing but a pharmaceutical device that holds a drug and may be in direct contact with the product. Then, it is device which holds the drug or the drug product either directly or in an indirect form. Then closure, so it is a device which protects the drug or drug product by preventing the entry of air, moisture, particulate matter and microorganisms etc. Thereby keeping the product in safe condition and also assisting in proper use and of the drug. Then. In order to prevent any sort of interaction between the containers closures and the product that have been stored in selection of an appropriate container closure system for any particular product is of utmost importance then it should be made only through proper evaluation of the influence of this material on the stability of the product and effectiveness of container in protecting the product during storage under varying environmental conditions of temperature, humidity and light. Also, the most commonly used material for pharmaceutical containers and closures are glass, plastic, metals and rubbers. So let us see them one by one. The first one, glass. For the last four decades, glass were used most widely. Still, 50 to 60 percent of products are stored in glass container. Glass ensures inertness, then visibility, strength, rigidity, then uh, moisture protection, ease in filling, durability, convenience in cleaning and economy. Molded glasses are commonly used in pharmaceutical industry. However, glasses also offer some of the problems like that of discussed here. The first one is leaching. Leaching is nothing but it is a process of liberation of alkali from the surface of glass container into the drug product. Due to liberation of alkali, product may undergo instability and pH of drug gets altered. Finally, drug may become toxic, important or even inactive. Then the next defect that may uh, or the next problem that may arise is weathering or clouding. So. It is again the process of loss of alkali from the surface of glass container thereby clarity of glass gets decreased and cloudiness occurs. It is continuous process due to loss of alkali strength is decreased thereby clarity is decreased and cloudiness appears. Then the next defect is flaking. Flaking is the process of release of fine particles of glass into the drug product. It arises due to exposure of particle uh, to fluctuated temperature. Then coming to next one that is plastics. So plastics are group of organic polymer usually synthetic which are molded then cased, extruded, drawn or laminated into the various forms. Plastics are very commonly used in pharmaceutical and packaging uh, medicinal packaging especially for disposable types of containers such as syringe then tubing device etc. Then the interaction or the problems which may occur with plastic includes first one is permeation. Permeation is transmission of gases, vapors or liquid through plastic. Packaging material can have an adverse effect on the shelf life of the drug. Then permeation of water vapor and oxygen through the plastic wall in the drug can present a problem if the dosage form is sensitive to hydrolysis and oxidation temperature and humidity are important. Then the next problem is leaching. Any kind of additive may get leached into the product resulting into de uh, I mean decomposition or spoilage of the product. Due to leaching process problem may arise with plastic. When coloring agents are added to the formula particular dyes uh, that may migrate to the solution or uh, suspensions that are stored in the container and cause toxic effect. Release of constituent from the plastic container to the drug product may lead to drug contamination. Then the next problem is sorption. So 
द प्रोसेस मे बी आइदर एब्सॉप्शन और एडसॉप्शन फ्रॉम प्रोडक्ट आर केमिक आई मीन दैट विल इन्फ्लुएंस इट्स केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर पी एच देन सॉल्वेंट सिस्टम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एक्टिव इन्ग्रेडियंट टेम्परेचर लेंथ ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट एंड एरिया ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट देन द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद प्लास्टिक इज डिफॉर्मेशन सो दिस इफेक्ट ऑकर्स इफ परमिएशन लीचिंग एंड सॉल्प्शन ऑकर ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ कंटेनर्स आर स्टोर्ड इन अ वेरी एडवर्स क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन स्ट्रक्चरल डिफॉर्मेशन ऑकर्स देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज एंट्रेनमेंट ऑफ लाइट रेस सो जस्ट लाइक ग्लास प्लास्टिक्स डोंट रेजिस टू एंट्रेनमेंट ऑफ लाइट रेस इन कॉम्प्लेक्स पॉलीमेरिक चेन ऑफ प्लास्टिक ऑल एडिटिव आर फिक्सड इन टू इट इवन दो अ वेरी हाई कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑकर फाइन पोर्स कैन अपीयर बोथ ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स विच कैन अलाउ द लाइट रेस टू पास एंड दैट मे अफेक्ट द लाइट सेंसिटिव मटेरियल्स रिजल्टिंग इन टू इट्स डिकम्पोजिशन देन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मेटल्स सो दे आर वाइडली यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ कंटेनर्स फॉर सेमी सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म एरोसोल्स एंड सॉलिड इन्ग्रेडियंट्स इन बल्क एंड ऑल्सो दिस मटेरियल्स आर यूज एज कंटेनर्स फॉर स्टोरिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फूड देन द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट आर असोसिएटेड विथ मेटल्स आर हाईली रिएक्टिव मेनी ऑफ द मेटल्स आर हाईली रिएक्टिव विद द केमिकल सब्सटेंस दैट आर स्टोर्ड विद इन दैट रिस्पेक्टिव कंटेनर देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज करोजन माइट ऑकर आइदर फ्रॉम इनर साइड और आउटर साइड देर फॉर डज इन ऑर्डर टू ओवरकम दिस जनरली कोटिंग इज प्रेफर्ड एंड द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट मे आराइज विथ मेटल इज दे मे शेड पार्टिकल्स इन टू द सोल्यूशन दैट आर स्टोर्ड विद इन द कंटेनर देन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पैकेजिंग मटेरियल दैट इज रबर सो दिस इज मेनली यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ क्लोजर्स देन फिल्टर्स कैपलाइंस ड्रॉपर्स जनरली फॉर पेड्रेटिक पर्पज इट अवॉइड लीकेजेस एंड प्रोटेक्ट्स एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट फर्दर रबर ऑकर्स इन टू फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट वन इज नेचुरल रबर एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज सिंथेटिक रबर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सी इन मच डिटेल बिकॉज ऑलरेडी वी हैव कवर्ड दिस इन अवर प्रीवियस सेमिस्टर इन पैकेजिंग सो हियर वी आर जस्ट समराइजिंग इन शॉर्ट देन द प्रॉब्लम दैट मे बी एसोसिएटेड विथ रबर इनक्लूड फर्स्ट वन इज कंपेटिबिलिटी द ग्लास कंटेनर और the uh, sorry the rubber closer has to be compatible with the product that have been stored therein then uh, extractiveness that is nothing but leaching or the glass uh, sorry the rubber should not get leached or should not uh, i mean uh, shed the particles into the product that have been stored therein and the last one is leakage in leakage i like to add that though the rubber uh, closers are expected uh, to offer the property of permeability however they should also be self sealing that is once the syringe have been uh, i mean used to withdraw the drug it should get self sealed i like to add one more problem which is related with that of rubber is permeation so if rubber closer is allowable to permeate complex uh, i mean it may completely damage the drug then stability condition should be checked in order to assure that permeation is not occurring so a care has to be taken that whatever container or whatever closer system have been used for storing of the product they are not going any sort of interaction or neither there is any addition or omission into the product that have been stored therein and whatever container and closer that have been used they should remain inert throughout the container must be rigid enough to prevent damage to the content that have been stored therein and the material of uh, construction should not react with the content also they should be able to protect the content from the environmental hazards so thank you for watching this video